everyone and welcome to today's video. So today's video is a recap of my Gecko's Adventure tour that I did in Thailand. The tour that I did was called Northern Thailand at a glance and it was really really good and just incredible. I would definitely recommend doing a Gecko's tour if you are on a budget because the tours are actually really affordable, they're really well run and you are guided by a local to that country. So for me I had a local Thai guide. So anyway let's get on with the video. So my tour started in Bangkok and once we were all introduced and our our guide Gigi had told us everything that we needed to know about the tour. We all went out for dinner for our first dinner all together and yeah of course I got pad thai, I get that every time. So the next morning we had to get up at 6am to head to Sukhothai which was a 7 hour bus trip, it was so long. Once we got to Sukhothai we headed straight to the ruins of the old town. guided bike tour and you learn about the history of Thailand and the history of this old town which used to be the capital of Thailand at one point. The next morning started at 7.30 a.m. which was another long day of bus trips. This time we were headed to Chiang Mai and we got a private minivan which was so much better than the public bus. And then we stopped off at an elephant hospital. Now Gecko Adventures don't support cruelty to animals or anything like that. However, I felt like this elephant hospital wasn't the best place. But I got this footage of this one elephant that had lost its leg from a mine while logging and it's getting a prosthetic leg put on. After another bus ride, we finally made it to Chiang Mai and went out to the markets where I got Pad Thai again and some tofu skewers and this was actually my favorite meal that I've had in Thailand ever and I didn't even take a photo of it or video of it or anything of it but it was delicious the next day was a free day to just explore around Chiang Mai this city is so beautiful and amazing and it's so much quieter and than Bangkok <laughs> I also got to do a cooking class while I was in Chiang Mai it was called Tom Yum Thai cooking class it was really good it was 800 baht to cook five meals which was really good they were awesome they were friendly and you just cooked in their house with we had maybe six other people with us it was amazing it was just such a good cooking class and I definitely recommend it if you were going to Chiang Mai. The next day we headed to Dome Mai Salong. Now you may not have heard of this place because I never had before I left. <laughs> It is a little Chinese village in hidden in the little mountains over there. They have this temple there that is on top of the mountain and you have to hike up 700 steps, also this massive hill before getting that to the 700 steps. And once you get there you get this amazing view that words can't describe, so enjoy. <laughs> one night in Dome Salong and it was such a tranquil, beautiful, peaceful place that I definitely want to go back again. The next day we got to go to a tea plantation where we tried a lot of tea. I'm not the biggest fan of tea so I didn't take any footage of all the tea we tried. After the tea plantation we then headed to the very top tip top of Thailand. After that we headed to the Golden Triangle which was pretty cool and we got to go on a boat to Laos or Lao, however you say it. Um, well we got to go there for about 30 minutes, but I can say that I've been to Laos. Um, in Laos they have this whiskey, which I'm going to show you a picture right now, which they're famous for and <laughs> let's just say it's interesting. We then spent the night in Chiang Rai after exploring the Golden Triangle and yeah, the next morning we went to the White Temple in Chiang Rai. <laughs>
the trip pretty much. After the White Table we headed to Chiang Mai and had to wait around until we got our overnight train back to Bangkok. So anyway, I really enjoyed Gecko's tours. I thought they were really good, really helpful and yeah, I definitely recommend if you're debating whether you go on a Gecko's tour, I definitely recommend doing it. It's awesome. Mainly you just have to pay for your own food, but everything else is sorted out for you, which was so good. I didn't have to stress. It was the one part of my trip that I didn't stress about accommodation and stuff, so it was awesome. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe below because the next couple of weeks I'm going to be having all my other videos from my trip. We go to Koh Tao next, and then also to be an arm so make sure you subscribe for new videos every monday my videos are all animal or travel related so yeah make sure you subscribe see you later